Good evening. Now it's, uh, I said the other day we'd be doing some tomato sowing seeds. So here we are doing some. So I've got a few varieties here. Some of these, in fact, I think the vast majority of these are American tomatoes. I've got tomato Cherokee purple. Absolutely outstanding taste and colour for a beef eater. I've got uh, atomic Brad's Atomic Grape, is it? There. I'm going to try Big Rainbow. That's from the States. Brandywine Pink. That's also from the States. So, did you get the Big Rainbow? <laughs> we haven't got any pictures of the Brad's Atomic and the Cherokee Purple, I'm afraid, but trust me, they're amazing, aren't they? Mm. Slice one of them up, it covers a whole sandwich, and if you're having ham, tomato, salad, sandwich, it's brilliant, it really is. Very nice. Very nice. Right, so we'll start them. What I do, a lot of people don't do their water until they actually sown the seeds. Well, I think some, some watering cans, they're a bit heavy when it comes to dropping water, so what I always do is, I always water mine before I sow. And this is this water's also been sat on my on the heat map, so it's actually at. I'm just going to stick a finger in. I'm going to be very good with my glove on. So it's at the temperature the heat map's at, so which is quite good for sewing and and that. I'll put that down there out of the way. Get a tray. Now oh, that's been warm. <coughs> Drop it into a tray. Like right, it's a bit where well, the shed's set up at the minute, it's a bit poor lighting, so just just bear with as we uh, shuffle about in the dark. So uh, it's time for some delicate surgery now. So off come the gloves. Get yourself a little dibber if you haven't got a dibber, get yourself a pencil if you haven't got a pencil. Do something else that's similar shape. <laughs> so, just all, all I do is I just make a slight indentation in the compost. I mean, I'm not going to bother with them because they're already low, but just it's all I do. Middle of the pot. Just make a just make a little hole for the seeds to drop in. Now, if this had been Blue Peter, I'd have had one I made earlier. But as it's not, and I haven't, I've got to do it. Right, so, I'm going to sew Cherokee Purple first. And, uh, uh oh, I, need, I might need to put my glasses on. I can't find, oh, there we go. So, put a few in your hand. It's all you need, just. Not too many. I always have a, a little pinch. There's about six or seven seeds there. And what I do is I just roll my fingers and the seeds, usually with a bit more care, I can just uh, drop two, two in per tray. But because I'm on the tally, pressure's on. And there's one, of, but they'll, if they, if they all grow, we can split them anyway. But these, such lovely tasting tomatoes, I'm going to grow some at home in the greenhouse and we're also going to do some down on the allotment in the polytunnel when we when we get around to putting it up. But the bed's a priority first, really, so we can uh, get some vegetables in the ground uh, and then just Put your seeds back in there. And if my assistant would move backwards a little bit. <laughs> oh, I've got a box of a thousand labels somewhere. There we go. Because there's going to be several varieties in there, I'm just going to, for the time being, I'm just going to put one label in. both the rows 
three row is it three rows you've done yeah but at the moment just so people don't want to watch me writing this out three times no. i'll just put it in the end one and uh so i know them them three rows there a cherokee purple Right. next one this is also a nice tomato this is brad's atomic grapes yeah yeah brad's atomic grapes all the way from romania these seeds but i believe they originated from the states i think so there we go put a few in there Put a few in your hand. Roll your fingers. Of course, they're nowhere near the holes that I've dibbed. Oh, that bang on. I don't know that one. Look. Yeah. Can't lose one. Mm. Take some of that one. Two rows or three? I'll do two rows. Two. Quite productive plants, aren't they? And that's how the other stuff are doing, look. They're doing really quite well while he's messing around. Aren't they? Coming along very nicely. They're doing all right. Yes. What are saying? Collies are coming through. Excuse the white bag, it's, it's, it's to, act to to reflect the light back onto the plants. So we've got collies, tajets. Some people, some people call them tajetees, but they're tajets to me. Beetroot over there. Green beans there. I took the domes off them today, so they're just underneath the really? lights for the time being. They're doing really well. Really well, yeah. Back to the tomatoes. So, get your dibber, your stick. Just uh, what you can do, just basically just just push them down till they're making contact with the with the compost, which most of them are anyway. <laughs> Misses allotment of it in technology, <laughs> honestly. We had to pause then because the dog came in. The yeah, dog's in, aren't you, Pip? There she is. Look, she has to be in. Yeah. So these ones are the Brandywine Pink. We've never had these before, but uh, we'll give them a go. All the way from uh, Home Depot to same again. Miss that one. Up. Two in. Some more seeds. Not many. Just going through two rows of these ones. There we go. Send up. Alright, just going to do one. Oh, hang on. That's one from there. So this one, we'll do one row. Because uh, we was greedy on the chokey purple. We'll just do one row with a big rainbow. See what they're like. These are also straight from Home Depot. So, uh oh, I've just made the rookie miss rookie error, haven't I? Yeah, you've not wrote what I've not wrote it on. Put on. So,
Brad's. That's a Brad's Atomic Grape. Brandywine Pink. And then big rainbow. one row of the big rainbow. Oops. Put that there. Then what I do is, because the compost I use is really, it's nice, but I mean, I, that's all sifted stuff. And uh, I did two of them and that's all that was left of the, I don't know, can you see that in this line? Yeah. That's all that was left. There was no twiggy stuff. There's just, just like lumps of hard, I don't know, bark or wood, but there's no big twigs. So it's really, it's nice stuff. But of course the seeds, I just put it in. Sieve it. Just sieve it in. And then you don't need to water it now, do you? Well, what I do then is, because the compost you're putting on tops dry. Oh, yeah. What I do then is, I just get me a little sprayer. And what I do is just gently, just moisten this compost on top. Because you see sometimes when it's, when it's being watered in a watering can, there's, co there's compost going all over the place. It's forcing seeds further into the compost. You know what I'm Plenty of lickle. Yeah, they've got, got to give them a, a fighting chance, haven't you? So they're the ones we've done. So what I do then, clean the gloves, clean the dibbers, clean up the rubbish, stick it on the heat mat, remove that then. And then I will finish putting off, putting labels in as well. But so you don't want me seeing doing all that. And then I just put a, <coughs> a little lid on it. And close up the air vents, keep it nice and humid in there for them. And what, four or five days, hopefully, there'll be uh, tomato seedlings coming through. Hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Right. See you in a moment, and we'll have a look, see what else we can sow. See you shortly. Go on then. What? Oh, we're ready, are we? Um, <laughs> must, admit the, must have missed the... <laughs> like a clackerboard or something, whatever it is. <laughs> right, I'm going to do some runner beans next. So this is, it was, if I remember rightly, it was inside an advent calendar, wasn't it? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we took the cardboard off and was left with that and I thought at some point it would come in useful for doing some seeds, but it hasn't got any holes in it. So one flat battery later and a drill, just gently... Fill it in. It is a wood, this is a wood drill bit as well. It's got the point on the end, so. Oh, you want, because they're not going to be in there long. Is I've just asked Tracy if she'll support it inside, you know, with her <laughs> fingers. She said no. So, it doesn't have to be pretty. You're only doing 15 of them, aren't you? Sorry? You're only doing 15 of them, aren't you? Yeah. I don't know, I'm going to do I'll just give them a minute. Oh no, that's not what you want to happen, look. So just, so screw it, just stick it in reverse. Go to a music interlude. And, no, oh, it's got a hole in it, I ain't messing with that. Oh, there you go. And there we go, simples. And that's, again, it's just a bit of, bit of recycling. 
Otherwise, it'd have gone to landfill and the councillor wanted to take more money off me for whatever. So, like I say, run of beans. But we're only sowing 15 because that's as much as one of these lids cover. So, we'll do 15 and then the rest can sit empty. Hey, back in, Pips. Hey, can, I, can I get to me? Hunting station, thank you. This one, just shove it in. It's, uh, these are more robust seeds. Uh, just level it all off. Give it a little tamp. Same again. Water, I water beforehand. Oh, watch out, Pippi, for drips. So, these ones, I've never grown these winter beans before. These ones are called Armstrong. And why Why did I get these ones, Tracy? Think about it. Oh, because my surname was Armstrong. <laughs> before you got married? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, so, huh? is that the reason? I told you that was the reason I was getting them. Sorry, folks. She uh, winds me up no end. Uh, I mean, these are big enough. You could you could use your own handmade dibble up. Compost is nice and wet. Depends if you like to get your fingers dirty. I don't like to get my fingers dirty. So just put these in. Some, they're big, aren't they? Oh, some, just because you've never seen a runner bean before doesn't mean oh, other no. people haven't. <laughs> or just have the look then lads and put lasses now i put these in on the side uh, rightly or wrongly like i do me I like i do me cucumbers and me courgettes i always put them on the side because there's such a big such a wide area to put in flat and you sometimes think now well, if i put them in flat then they do get waterlogged for some reason you know there's a possibility they're going to rot so I always do it that way. If it doesn't, if it fails, I won't admit to it. I'll just go and buy some and says, look, this, these yeah, are them yeah. runner beans that I sowed the other week. So, yeah, just drop them in. These uh, these holes made by your fingers are much better. They just drop in nicely. And then drop a bit more seed, seed compost on top. Oh, compost, it's not seed compost, it's just your everyday Jack's Magic compost. There you go. And then I'll spray it. I mean, a watering can wouldn't have hurt in this process, but you know. <coughs> It's, a, it's something I've always done, so it, we're evident, so you know, it's what I carry on doing. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Okay. Right, Pip, what did I do with that label that I threw in when I tidied up the kitchen? There it is. So this is runner bean. And it's called Armstrong. And why is it Armstrong? Because my surname was Armstrong before we got married. All them years ago. It should have been Gobstrong. How do you spell Armstrong? <sighs> right, that's them done. Easy peasy. Oh my bad, there's 40 seeds in there, so keep them nice and safe. And uh I'll use them again next year. We have got a seed box. This is a seed box I use, <laughs> but I say use, I've stuck them all in the first two and then some in between, but these, these are some of the seeds that we're hoping to sow this next week, Nigella, some Cosmos, some Verbena to get them down, you know, for the insects and that and the bees and that down on the allotment, yeah, some Marigolds, and then 
got some uh, sunflowers helianthus maximiliani it is uh it's a sunflower but loads of i haven't got a picture to show you because there's not one on the packet which is not useful it grows loads of yellow sunflowers masses of them all up one, all, all up the plant so instead of just getting one big one at the top you get absolutely festooned with them and the wildlife quite like them and if anyone knows what a the flower looks like on Jerusalem artichokes. Yeah, Jerusalem artichokes. Very, very similar to that with a mass of yellow flowers. Lovely. So that's that one that can sit on the heat mat. And get it to get the old canopy put on. So we've got we we have got some more. I've got parsnips to do at some point this week as well but I think I'm going to stick them in toilet rolls just going to uh, put them in then try and start them off at home and then when they're ready go down the allotment just dig a hole drop them in like we all know cardboard will rot and hopefully It'll, get, it'll be a better start than uh, trying to sew them down the allotment because I've never ever really been successful at parsnips. <clears throat> the only time I was successful with parsnips is I opened a seed packet that was about a year out of date and the wind took them and where they landed most of them grew. The ones that I set, sewed in lines I think if, if I remember right I only had three or four <laughs> pop up so I'm going to try Doing it this method, you know, sow my time when they're ready, take them down and dip them into the allotment. So, if you want to watch me do that, we'll be back shortly while I get prepped. <laughs> See you later.